too lazy to do a, mu a YouTube movie voice right now. So, um, in a world where YouTubers feel the need to, um, quote-unquote expose each other to get attention, um, there's one man that has just ruled the, the, the world. And, uh, this is his story that I'm going to argue. Meet Leafy is here, a 20-year-old YouTuber that has 4 million subscribers and is a manipulating piece of shit that uses people only to gain more subs and or popularity. Now, I know everybody... This isn't how you start a video sharing your opinion negatively on some in the negative light on someone. In fact, if I would have make a video sharing some negative light on somebody like Leafy, I would have started out saying, "Hi, I know what you're thinking. I'm making a video to hate on Leafy, but I'm not. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to say talk about what he did to me. Not, yeah, Leafy's a piece of shit." Fuck you. I'm not going to give you a reason unless you watch the video. But do, do, do you have a reason to watch the video? No. No, no, no. You don't now. You just have a reason to fucking dislike it because I started out calling him a piece of shit. fucking knows who Leafy is here is. And I guarantee a lot of people think that we're friends. But in this video, I'm gonna show- No, I don't, I don't think you do. You have friends. Why Leafy is a fucking piece of human trash and why I don't fuck with him anymore. Sorry, Leafy, you have- you fucked him. Get this coming, bro. You shouldn't have fucking used me for five months. Anyway, let's get into the video. What the fuck is up, you guys? Nick here, and today I want to talk about Leafy is here. Now, I'm sure a lot of people weren't expecting this video. And to be honest, this video is very overdue. I should I don't care. Just get to the point. I made this video months ago. Because the things I'm about to say in this video, I have been feeling for a very long time. Now, I do want to point out that, yes, iDubs did completely, pretty much annihilate Leafy. He didn't do shit to Leafy. He just said that he had no chin. But that has absolutely nothing to do with this video. I want to make that clear. Yes, of course he destroyed him. But again, just because iDubs made that video is not the reason I'm making this video. As I said, this video is very overdue. I've known Leafy. Yeah, your point is overdue. For about five months now, and I feel like the whole time I've known this kid, he's pretty much used me. And in this video... Yeah, I'd like to know how so. So I'm gonna explain why I don't like Leafy and also why he's a piece of shit. I guarantee you're watching... Please do. I don't want to hear your intro anymore. ...watching this Leafy right now and you're probably shitting your pants. And let me... I doubt it. Just tell you, don't respond to this video, alright? Oh, he'll respond. He'll fucking respond. The fuck do you expect? Some small-ass YouTuber makes a, makes a video on a YouTuber with 4 million subscribers? What do you expect? You're the one that has the lower end of the spectrum. You're the one bringing out a shitty, a shitty fucking opinion or, that nobody knows, that nobody, you don't have any proof for. You just keep saying, oh yeah, this happened to me and that happened to me. Honestly, like, sure, like... He doesn't really have a reason to hate besides attention. But everybody on the internet is fucking reacting to this, being like, Oh yeah, Leafy is fucking exposed. Like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, don't respond to it. I know the first thing you're going to do when you see this video, you're going to piss your pants. Then you're immediately going to... Like I said, I doubt any bodily, bodily fluids will come out. Go on Skype and hit up about four or five other YouTubers that you use. Ask them what you should do and if you should respond. And if they do... Using them because at, because you're asking them a question? I don't think so. But the, asking them what to do... Asking somebody what to do, like, getting friendly advice is not... A fucking... Isn't, isn't using somebody. You're not getting advice from them and paying them for advice. Advice is supposed to be free. Say you should respond. Sit there for about eight or nine hours helping you through the whole video while you pretty- How so? I mean, why would you need help? All Leafy really makes videos about is saying fuck, fuck, fuck. 
from other fucker and shit. Uh, for, uh, ask to give an example from other YouTubers, I guess. Pretty much do fucking nothing. Render the video, upload it, and get that sweet YouTube ad revenue. Now, the first time I talked to Lee does nothing besides makes the gameplay, talks the bit, talks through the video, and comes up with the script. Do you have proof that he doesn't do any of this stuff? If not, please come back when you do. He had followed me on Twitter, and I think I DM'd him or he DM'd me. And he was like, oh, I love your fucking content, man. It's really fun. You should be glad. Fucking good. The first video he ever watched of mine was the Commentary Wars. And he said he loved the video, and then he gave me a Skype. I added him on Skype, and then we talked. And I mean, while we're talking, this kid has, you know, some good shit to say to me. At this point, I'm probably at 20,000, maybe l Oh, wow. Wow. 20,000. Right. Spoiler alert, we're just gonna watch the next part. His next point is that he thought he was gonna grow, but he didn't at all. A Watch Your Mouth has 80 videos in total. That's less than I have. And to have had to have 100, 158,000 subscribers and 80 fucking uploads is a little bit insulting to the YouTube community. See, there are actual good channels like, um, let me see, let me see. I'm just scrolling through my subs right now. Like Heretic, for example. Heretic is a good channel. Or Herotic. I'm I know it's pronounced Herotic, I just haven't watched it in a while. Herotic's a good channel. He's a funny dude. I still watch him whenever he uploads. But he doesn't I mean he he has I don't know, let me let me get to his channel. Alright. So, he has 236,000 subscribers. He never got a shout-out from Leafy. In fact, I don't even think he's ever talked about Leafy. I mean, he's talked about Leafy, but I don't think he's ever been talked about by Leafy. He was in Pyrocynical, the one that gave him growth. Either way, he had, he'd grown over 100,000 subscribers on his own, but he gained a ton from just saying sneezing in a pyrocynical cynical video, I think it was, or coughing, I don't remember. But, um, yeah. Uh, he, he made his own growth by making videos and shit on the internet. And then Pyrocynical did something to give him more growth. If you want to get growth, you have to make quality content before the shout-out and not after the shout-out. Less subscribers. And you got Leafy over here that's Sitting at two or three fucking million subs. Now for me Yep, two or three million subs because he's made more than 80 videos. Me, this is insane. You know, I'm thinking big opportunities here. Like, holy fuck, this guy likes my content. Maybe he wants to work with me. And in doing so, I can fucking grow. But that's not the case at all. The only thing he needed from me was to use me. So for the people who have seen Commentary Wars, it's me photoshopping characters and YouTubers, putting backgrounds, taking the photoshopped YouTubers, recording the screen and moving the mouse while recording the audio. Now, I had gotten this idea from PewDiePie. PewDiePie had this series called YouTuber High School, and I thought it was funny as fuck. And I seen in the video that, you know, he was using Photoshop. We don't need to know what your inspiration was for. We need, we just want to know why, how the hell Leafy used you. Stop dragging on and on so you can put extra ads in the video. Like, see, look, so this is a 20 minute video, right? Every 10 minutes you get to add another, you get to add another ad. So, 20 minutes. I watch an ad here, and I watch an ad, I mean, I watched an ad at, I think, 4 minutes when I last tried to watch this, but somebody walked in while I was making the video, and I watched an ad right in the beginning. There's another video, another ad near the end, and another ad at the end. He has, he's making a ton of money off this video, and we don't realize it. It has 77,000 videos. And this video was uploaded, I mean, v views, and this video was uploaded later at night, from what I can tell. Shop, but the way he was recording it, you could still see, like, the square boxes, and you could tell he was in Photoshop. So I took inspiration from that, and I was like, I can do that, but I think I can do it just a tad bit better. So what I did was Photoshop a few things, and I made a story about Keemstar. And it was a very, very successful video. It got me noticed by a lot of big YouTubers. So of course I made another video in that same style, and called it Commentary Wars, where it was the commentary community, and... Leafy had taken Pyrocynical 
and me, Colossal is Crazy, Herotic, no fuckers, and Dolan Dark were going to go save them. I made a first episode and a second episode to this. Now, there was always supposed to be a Commentary Wars Part 3, but I never ended up making it. And there's a reason for that. It's because one day Leafy had hit me up and he, you know, he loved the animations. Animations that I was doing. Why does it matter if he called them animations? That's basically what they are. Animations isn't isn't just people drawing characters and then animating them. Animations in general are just moving on to objects to make it look like they are doing actions. See, Disney animations, those are more complex animations. Your animations, less complex animations. They're not quote-unquote animations. They are literal animations. And he had asked me to do one for his video. So I was fucking geeked up. I'm like, holy shit. Here I am sitting at what, fucking 15,000 subscribers. And I got a guy with 2 million or 3 million at the time subs. And he wants me to do an intro for him. So I'm immediately geeked up. I ran to my dad. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a goddamn YouTube star. I'm going to be fucking huge. This kid that has a shit ton of subscribers wants me to do an intro for him. And at this point, I'm thinking, I'm going to make him the intro. He's going to shout me out. I'm going to get some subs, and I'm going to be able to grow. But fuck no, that's not what happened. So I make the first intro for him, and I give it to him. And at that point, he says, hey, man, I'm not going to give you a shout out. I'm just going to put you in the description. Well, who's not going to check the description? I check the description all the time. It's a YouTuber Wild Spartans. I learned, I, fi I found one of my favorite musicians through his outro song. YouTuber Wild Spartans was a good channel until he became a rat rant channel. He makes some alright rants every now and then, but most of his rants are just phase rants and shit from videos people have already made. And honestly, a lot of them are just shitty and biasly opinionated because of his friend, because of what his friends have thought about phase in the past. Because he said, you know, it's just not really shout-out worthy, what you did. It's not. It's literally moving characters up and down in Photoshop. So, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it shout-out worthy. The few hours, you know, that you took out of your precious time, it's, it's not worth that shout-out, you know? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in the description, though, so you could get, you know, eight or ten subs, which is really good. Eight or ten. Like I said earlier, that motherfucker has 158,000 subscribers with 80 goddamn videos. If I was, if I, if I was able to gain that many subscribers with 80 fucking videos, I would be fucking drowning in subscribers right now. See, let's let's look up my channel, gentlemen. Fuck off. I'm getting keyboard lag right now, gentlemen Astaroth. I'm actually looking up on my computer so you can't see it in total I have uploaded 123 fucking videos I've deleted tons in the past like you guys have no idea how many videos I've deleted so you can say whatever you want about about leafy and how you gained eight or ten quote-unquote subscribers um but it simply just doesn't add up. You've uploaded 80 videos. Like you said yourself, three of which were videos of you just moving characters up and down in Photoshop. So, really, you gained a lot of subscribers with from your time contact in contact with Leafy. You don't think it's because you're talented that you gained all these subscribers. The reason you gained all these subscribers was because a big YouTuber found your content. And he was like, hey, can you do some shit for me? And he put your name in the description. You do not have, know how many people look in the description. I wish somebody would come to my channel and just be like, hey, gentlemen Astaroth, I would like to make a video with you. And I would like to put you in the description. I'd be like, fuck yeah, I want to be at 158,000 subscribers and only 80 videos. No, it fucking wasn't. So when I hear this, I'm kind of sad. I'm a little depressed. I just took all this time making this fucking... Fucking don't throw a goddamn fit, you fucking idiot. At least he's willing to do some shit for you. It's just like during Christmas. All these little kids expecting bigger things than they got. Or just, like, it's it's like buying you a new car, but it's the wrong color. And so you start crying. Intro for this kid, and he's not gonna shout me out. Alright, fine. It was, it was pretty fucking gay what you did. Whatever. He's gonna put me in the description, cool. So after I make this intro for him, he doesn't hit me up. 
Like, I, I'm trying to hit this kid up. He, he, sh he just, he's not hitting me up at all. I'm like, well, th well, maybe, you know, he's just, you know, he's a busy guy. He makes fucking daily shitty videos that are super unfucking funny. You know, maybe... That's the greatest way to get your opinion across, just insulting him over and over again. How many times have I insulted you in this video? Yeah, sure, once or twice, but you've insulted video, I mean, you've insulted Levy over 50 times in the span of 5 minutes. Come on, dude. That's not what this is about. This is about criticizing somebody, not insulting them. He's just, you know, taking time to make his shit videos. But no, what I'm guessing is he had used me for what he needed, and then, you know, he moved on. But a few weeks later, he hit me back up and he said, Yo, Nick, Nick, Nick. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? He's like, hey, can you do another intro for me? And at this point, I'm like, dude, I don't want to fucking do an intro if you're not going to shout me out. So I had asked, hey, yeah, I can make an intro, but could you, know, like, shout me out? At the end of the intro, or maybe at the end of the video? Well, no, man. You know, I, I don't want to shout you out, because, again, you know, you taking this four or five hours, or however many hours it takes... It's not four or five hours to move characters up and down in Photoshop. Like I said, I could take... I could go to MS Paint and make a video that... Mm, I could do a video faster than that. It doesn't take four or five hours to make a fucking ten-second clip. Thanks. Out of your time. Dude, that's not worth a shout out, man. How about I pay you? Alright, sure, yeah, yeah, I mean, fuck, if you're gonna pay me, that's what's up. How much are you gonna pay me, dude? Is, is 20 bucks okay? Don't agree to 21, 20 bucks in the first place if you don't want 20 bucks. Come on. It's that simple. See, as much as you'd like to gripe and complain that, oh, yeah, I'll leave you didn't pay, pay me enough. enough. It's not that he didn't pay you enough. It's that you agreed to not be paid enough. So it's your fault and not his. You could have haggled if you felt like it. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, you know, hey, what the fuck? It's 20 bucks. I mean, he ended up paying me 50 bucks, but that's not fucking shit. For a minute or 30 seconds of the video or two... That's probably more than you were making from YouTube monthly at that time. So that's just adding on to your income. Don't gripe and complain because you had to open Photoshop. You had to pay for Photoshop a long time ago for completely unrelated reasons. Then, then, after you paid for Photoshop, you had to make a video for Leafy. Leafy is here, gaining you a hundred thousand subscribers. And for just a 10 second clip that could have been made in MS Paint. And, and he offered me, he offered to pay me for such little work. Minutes, however long it is, it's my content, right? And he's done this on two other videos. He paid me $50. And on both of these videos, he made at least $10,000. Which is cool, you know, you're a great... Okay. Pretty little fucking 20 year old piece of shit. You gotta make some money. And I, you know, I understand, you know, he only had like, I believe at. Chill with the insults, by the way. This time, $700,000 in the bank, and that's not that much. He was barely scrapping by, you know. I had like about five bucks in my PayPal, so. I was doing a bit better than he was financially at this moment. I mean, what are you gonna, you know, buy a, a couple packets of ramen noodles with $700,000? You can't afford shit like that. So after I make the intros, he pays me the 50 bucks, he gives me- Sarcasm isn't the way to do this. I mean, it's just fucking retarded. No shout outs, he put me in the description. So again, a couple weeks go by and the kid never fucking hits me up. And you end up at 158,000 with 80 videos. Oh my god. Well, that's so terrible. That That's so terrible. I can't believe that he gave you 158,000 subs. You know you've only made 80 videos. <laughs> it's just so dumb, right? I can't believe people are so fucking retarded. And I'm in a Skype group chat that contains like 20 people, and a lot of those people are pretty big YouTubers. And other, you know, just cool-ass fuckers. And I'm telling them, you know, Leafy just used me, you know? And that's what they were telling me all- Leafy le 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 used me. <laughs> How would you get in the Skype chat? Can you not tell any of the YouTubers that were in there? I mean... 
<laughs> I need some proof. So they're like, dude, he's done this in the past. He's done this before. So I'm like, fuck this guy. Fuck this fucking piece of shit. I'm making a fucking video on this kid. Like, I am gonna go in on- You literally described, like, three hours of s worth of fucking content. Jesus shit. It took more time to make this video than make your fucking MS Paint Photoshop things that he paid you to do. What? If I got paid to move characters up and down in front of a picture of a fucking giant building, I could be a fucking billionaire in 15 goddamn seconds. This guy. Now remember, there's about 20 people in this group chat, and the kid has not hit me up in about fucking two weeks. But after I say in the group chat that I'm gonna make a video about him, he magically hits me up. Hey Nick, yo Nick, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wanna call? Wanna chat? Because what I'm guessing is one of the fucking 20 people, you know. Because he wanted to talk to you before you made a video completely blatantly saying some bullshit. And then have somebody like me, who's actually smart, come along and say, Oh yeah, that's not true. He's, he's completely lying. This is bullshit. There's no way that what he's doing is correct. And he, he's doing it all wrong, even if it was true. Somebody like me, who knows. Okay? Went and pretty much licked his butthole, told them that I was going to make a video, and then he wanted to be best buds with me. Which I... No, he didn't want to be best buds with you. I guarantee if you showed that conversation, he'd say, Hey, what? He'd say, Hey, dude, don't make the video. I know you already planned to, and I know you feel bad, but it's just a dumb idea. I'm just trying to stop you, or something like that. See, Leafy's a fucking kid. Leafy's still not that old. Leafy's 22. He's not exactly mature. But neither are you. You guys are just two kids in an argument. See, I would feel like I was wrong by somebody if I was seven, okay? But now that I'm older, I know that that's just bullshit to think something like that. I'm not the first person he's done this with. And I actually witnessed this shit. He's also done this Ooh. with another YouTuber, which you guys probably know, Elvis the Alien. So Elvis is... He didn't even do shit to Elvis the Alien. Elvis the Alien made a video on him. The video got taken down, that's the only contact, they, contact they've ever fucking had. If he did this to Elvis the Alien, I know Elvis the Alien. Elvis the Alien would have made a goddamn video. Elvis the Alien is that kind of guy. Elvis the Alien made a video on Rice Drum because he fucking... He made an offhand joke about a fucking... A rape victim five fucking years ago. I don't even know if it was five at this point. I don't remember because nobody fucking cares. Elvis the Alien doesn't give a shit. Elvis the Alien will make a video on anything because he feels like it. You know, saying that he's gonna make a leafy exposed video or a leafy video and he's gonna go in on him how he usually does. And Leafy gets this information, and for some reason, he's shitting his pants. Like, he's scared. So what he does is have another big YouTuber go and talk to Elvis, and also me go and talk to Elvis to try to make them friends so Elvis doesn't make the fucking video. And just to prove that, here are some DMs that you can see. Because he doesn't want people to make fucking retarded decisions. See Elvis and another YouTuber chatting back and forth, asking if he could talk with Leafy. Hey fam, you busy? Elvis says, what's up, man? I don't want to listen to him read this until I'm done reading it. So, hey fam, you busy? What's up, man? In a call with Leafy, and he was wondering if he can talk to you. Get the fuck out. Ha ha ha. So no dice then. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, Lamal. I think it's half to comp... I think it's half to compliment you on your Onision vid and half to ask what's going on because he's wondering what your problem with him is. Haha. Ha. He's just going to try and convince me to not make a video and then never speak to me again. Lol, he's trying to manipulate me. Yeah, I feel like he's genuinely gonna... Yeah, I feel like he's genuinely gonna wanna ask why you're gonna do a vid on, vid on you on him. All I see here is Elvis the Alien refusing to fucking, fucking communicate. Elvis the Alien refusing, <laughs> refusing 
to see what he has to say. So, you're not proving shit by showing me Elvis saying, No, fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck up. Even when Leafy says, Yo, I want to talk to you about this. I want to make sure. I want to try and make sure you don't make a stupid decision. But no, you feel like, Oh, yeah, I have to make the stupid decision. I have to get all the money. In a call with Leafy, and he was wondering if he could talk to you. Get the fuck out. <laughs> so, no dice then? Are you serious? You cannot be more right in your fuck. He's shitting his pants. Like he's scared. So Gotta find the end of that. Which I'm not the first scared. So what he does is have another big YouTuber never speak to me again. He's trying to manipulate okay. me. Oh my god, Elvis. You cannot be more right in your fucking life. So at this point, you know, Elvis, he's a smaller YouTuber. So he did the same thing I yeah, fucking did. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, for sure. So he gets in a call. Leafy says all this say, good oh, shit. Yeah, for sure. He said, no, no, no. He's just trying to convince me not to. No, 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 fam. No, 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 no. You literally showed us what he just said. He didn't say, oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. We gonna talk to Leafy. We gonna sort this shit out. We gonna figure it out. Leafy gonna say. Yeah, sorry, dude. I won't do it again. It'll never happen again. It's all good. It's all good. No, he said get the fuck out. Make sure he doesn't make a fucking video on him and then just uses and manipulates him. And I just want to say Elvis is a great YouTuber. Make sure to go in the description below and check out his... Elvis was good until he made a video on Ricecum saying, oh, I hate Ricecum for literally no reason. Channel, give him a sub, give him some love, because he makes some really good content. And Leafy, if you're watching, that's what I call a shout-out. That's what you- He said he wasn't giving you a shout-out because your shitty work that you claim is hard. Like, it's like me picking up this- box right here and setting it to the side and being like I deserve a shout out for that you do when you're a bigger youtuber and you see someone putting out some dope content you like you shout them out not just put them in the description and say fucking nothing about it you fucking idiot so after me and this youtuber talk to Elvis and get him and Leafy to talk so Elvis does not make a video you know, I, I had to comment on this. I was contemplating whether I should or not. I understand that he's pissed, but he really needs to stop fucking insulting Levy. That's not how you make a video on people saying that they're wrong or they did something wrong and trying to prove that you are the bigger person. You don't say fucking idiot every two seconds. Yo, I'm Leafy. Leafy again just stops hitting me up. Because the only time this kid hits me up is when he fucking needs something. That's the only time. Why else would he need to hit you up? You sound like a total asshole. Time he hits me up. And I don't know why. Maybe I was blinded by his subs. I don't know why I was being such a big, fat, fucking pussy about this whole situation. And I'll admit that. I was being a fucking pussy. But I am taking my dick out now and slapping you in the goddamn face with it, Leafy. Don't respond. I mean, I, I couldn't see it if you did. Bro, do not respond. Cause I He's going to respond because you made some retarded claims that were mostly untrue from literal staring at the camera proof. I, 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 I had to look up a couple things. See, you have 158 subscribers with 80 videos. 80 cancer goddamn videos. And I admit, I used to be a fan of your channel until all your videos became opinionated messes. It will come a thousand times harder on your fucking face. It will be a fucking bukkake. So one day Pyrocynical hits me up. You know, Leafy, the guy you hate so fucking much. I want to make sure I mention that. Leafy fucking hates Pyrocynical. He thinks he's copied his whole style, and he just does not like him at all. Just want to make that clear. You're fucking retarded. You are so fucking dumb. You just restated what literally every 12 year old has said in their life that Pyrocynical's a leafy copy. <laughs> That's literally what you did. Okay, Leafy has literally been quoted in the past saying, yeah, I don't think any of these people are copying me. Show me, show me him saying that. Okay? I don't fucking believe you. This is so dumb. It is so retarded to hear, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that Leafy was just like, oh, yeah, Pyrocynical, he's, he's stupid. And I hit him, and he copied me. You think just because I see somebody 
making a video opinionating on Onision or people trying to quote unquote expose Team Star or people making fun of Elvis the Alien's video saying that he doesn't like rice gum or or making a video explaining that they've been diagnosed with severe depression. No. That's not how it works. That's not how anyone thinks of it. I'm 13 years old. Open it up, Pandora's box. I don't give a fuck anymore. So Pyro hits me up one day and says, Nick, I'm going on holiday. Do you want to make a video for me? And I will upload it to my channel and you can promote yourself as much as you want. I was like, are, are you fucking serious? He was like, yeah, any video you want. So I was like, oh my fucking God. This is, a, this is an actual huge opportunity for me. So what I did was I made the Pokemon Go rant, which was completely satire. <laughs> now, one part in that video was serious. I actually should have said that Pokemon was my favorite game on Sega Genesis because it was that much of a joke. So I made the video, gave it to Pyro, and about two or three days later, he uploads it. It's getting a shit ton of views, a lot of positivity, but there's some negativity there. Which, I mean, what can you do? There always is. But see, what I did at the beginning of the video was I made one of my little animation videos. And a lot of people were pissed off and saying, why are you copying Leafy? Oh my god, this guy's a Leafy wannabe. Look, he's doing the he's doing the intros like Leafy does. But I'm guessing the people were saying that because they watch Leafy and they see these intro animations that I fucking make. And Leafy does that you can make in 10 seconds on MS Paint. That I fucking made in 10 seconds, but not even on MS Paint. I used Photoshop just to make it more complicated so I could seem like I did so much more work. Ah, I can't believe it. I can't believe I showed four or five comments of people saying, You copied Leafy because they didn't know that you made the animations. Or that you're featured, your voice is featured in about 90% of them. Say one word about it. Doesn't say who made it, doesn't shout me out, puts me in the fucking description. Well, that's saying a word about it. Which again, probably gave me around eight subs. So, at so the fact you're 158,000 videos with, um, how many was it again? Oh, yeah, eight, 80. 80, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I remember that I remember I was watching your channel at the time that you made the Pyrocynical video, and you were at over a hundred thousand subscribers before you made the Pyrocynical video. So explain that. That doesn't look like eight subs in growth to me. That from from fifty thousand to a hundred thousand, that's 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 eight. Yeah, that's that's eight or nine. I'm fucking heated. Not only did he never shout me out, he paid me 50 fucking dollars for two of the intros. The guy is taking my intros because they're not worth 10 cents. And he is putting them on his second channel to earn revenue from. Okay. And they're getting hundreds of thousands of fucking views. So? I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're not gating revenue from your shitty videos that take two second that take ten seconds to make and making and making a video trying to garner attention off of them. I'm actually really glad that you're suffering. Because the more you talk, the more I want you to trip and fall and hit your head the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Oops, I did not fucking dick. Going down. Pyro Cynical has made a video about Keemstar and I... Where was I? Sorry, sorry. Right now. And now again, I haven't heard from Leafy in fucking... ...us up, and he sits with us on Skype. I have to figure out where I was. Sorry. Hundreds of thousands of fucking views! And I mean, the guy couldn't even shout me out on that! Again, he just puts me in the description, because- I mean, your va your face and voice are in the fucking video. I don't know- I don't- I don't know why anybody would check the description, and that you would gain a hundred and thousand- a hundred thousand subscribers, meaning you gain more from Leafy than you did Pyrocynical. He's a piece of fucking shit! He's a greedy little motherfucker that- That gave you more subs than Pyrocynical did, even though you uploaded an entire video to Pyrocynical's channel where you were allowed to promote yourself as much as you wanted. Just wants to use people and gain. 
and gain and gain from them. He doesn't. And you gain from him as well. I don't want to give you anything. He just wants to take. Well, sorry, Leafy. I'm gonna. But it, I guess since he wanted to, his want failed. I mean, I guess, I guess he gave you a little too much. And now you're mad because he gave you the wrong color of car. Or you wanted to make more fucking ad revenue. To slap your fucking hand right now. And now again, I haven't heard from Leafy in fucking weeks or however long it's been. And now the king star. I thought you don't fuck with him anymore. Shit is going down. Pyro Cynical has made a video about Keemstar, and iDubs has made a video about Keemstar. So everybody one, made a video about Keemstar. I made a video about people making videos about Keemstar. One night, randomly, I get a call from Leafy. I pick up and I say, "Yo, what's up?" He's like, "Hey, man, what's up?" I want to ask you a question because he can't make a decision or get an original idea from himself. So he says, pretty much, you know, Keemstar has been getting a lot of hate recently. And I know me and Keemstar are friends, but I've been talking a lot to another YouTuber that I, I just won't name. And me and him are thinking about making exposed videos on him because we want to distance ourselves from Keemstar. This is a business decision. It is clearly a business decision. It's good to distance yourself from people that are making bad decisions. See, I'm not a strict, I'm not a believer, in, I'm, I'm not a religious person myself, I'm atheist. But a quote from the Bible, which is actually really fucking, it's, it's pretty good, is, um, it basically says to choose your friends carefully. It says, who's, who's sneaking into your life, who are you depending on? Make sure they're not dragging you down. It's, the, it's the, at the end of Hobson's Ill Mind, Ill Mind 8. Um, and honestly, you just did the opposite of what you should have done. I mean, it, he was... I mean, if you didn't feel like Leafy was good, and whatever. That's not my point, though. My point is that Leafy was trying to distance himself from that demon in his life. That, that guy that was trying to trying to bring him down. He even goes to say, I really like the guy, but because everybody was hating on him and making videos... That's not why he made a video on him. In fact, the YouTuber that originally told him that he was that he was insulting them, insulting him in grade A, has been identified. I don't know who it is at the moment, but I know he's been identified by a couple people. Um, really, Keemstar's grown up since those videos were made, but honestly, it was a really great decision to get rid of, to get out of, to get rid of Keemstar. I mean, Grade A's made some bad decisions. I mean, I don't like Grade A personally, but Leafy, I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of Leafy. I just disagree with the fact that you made this video. In fact, your, your, your points are so easy to shoot down and so easy to prove that they're, that you're lying that I don't even feel tired yet. Videos about him. He wants to make a video about him because, again, this kid is a piece of shit. So we said. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking about making a video about another YouTuber because he's a piece of shit, but you're making a video about Levy right now. Doesn't that prove that you're a piece of shit as well, just by your own des description? on the phone for about an hour or two, and I'm telling him, yeah, go ahead, man. If you want to distance yourself and you want to make that business move, then fucking do it. And for two fucking hours, we go back and fucking forth, and I'm not getting shit done, and at the end of the conversation, I just go, just fucking do it, or something, man. You know, just do it. So he's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Hey, we hang up. He calls me the next day, and I believe the next day, and he's like, I'm gonna do the video. I'm not gonna do the video. I'm gonna do the video. So finally, when he actually gets some fucking balls to do the video, Says the one that made it, oh yeah, I was a pussy and I didn't want to do whatever, blah, 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 blah. You're right now, you're ranting because Leafy couldn't make a decision. You're like, oh, yeah, Leafy wasn't able to make a decision. He talked to me about it. So he's a shitty human being because he couldn't decide. He hits me and another person up, which I'm not going to mention their names. I don't know. Also, you start talking about how you're making a video because it's a piece of shit, but you said you ended the last conversation with just fucking do it. If that person wants her name mentioned, so I'm not going to say it. So he hits us up, and he sits with us on Skype for four or five hours, creating the whole first Keemstar rant. And I'm not talking about just sitting there and, like, supporting him, like, yeah, go, go. It, what are you talking about? It, wouldn't, it would take much more than four or five hours to make a video that long, honestly. You say that it took four or five hours to make your goddamn intros, which probably takes about ten seconds in MS Paint, like I said. Um... 
but right now you're just countering your own opinions because the Keemstar rant was a careful video. It was carefully set up. It was it was actually it was a long video. It wasn't a 10 second clip of you moving characters up and down. Oh, if you go. No, we pretty much made that whole fucking video. Let Proof. You know, I, I don't want to he sit here and sit here and hear you talk about how, oh, yeah, I made I made a video. I made a I made a 20 minute video that Leafy made. I, I know that uh, Leafy is it's on Leafy's channel and that uh, he wasn't even he, he wasn't even like and there was no trace that he was on Skype at all during the video. But uh, I made it for him. I was on Skype while he made that. I was on Skype while he recorded that. I was on Skype while he did all the takes. I was on Skype while he edited. I was on Skype, blah, 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 blah. Keemstar! I mean, easily Leafy could have made those intros himself, so honestly, there's no real point for him to have talked to you about it. I mean, Pyro Cynical made a video on Keemstar already. Why doesn't he talk about somebody that made a video on Keemstar? That video is pretty much mine, but of course Leafy had to put his spin- How? How was it yours? You know, you know, many, many YouTubers have different people that aren't even featured in their videos write their scripts. You being there and cheering Leafy on isn't making it your goddamn video. On it, say literally a thousand fucking times and repeat himself over and over again. Made stupid points because he really didn't have any points. Because it Leafy's actually made it some all right points in the past. Like during his iDubs video, he makes he makes he makes fun of iDubs for making he makes fun of iDubs for being a complete hypocrite. That's a good point. Um, in his Keemstar videos, he made a bunch of points. Sure, everybody made videos about Keemstar, and they all said the exact same thing, but he made a bunch of points. He, he said, and he talked about how Keemstar had wronged him personally. This whole move was a business decision. Well, Leafy, I guess this is my business decision with you. You're probably shitting your pants right now, man. I doubt it. I mean, somebody lying about a big-ass YouTuber. I mean, Leafy has 4 million subs. He's not going to lose 4 million subs because you made a video on him. He's not going to lose his hundred thousands of dollars worth of monthly ad revenue because some small-ass YouTuber made a shitty, insignificant, lying video about him. I'm not even a fan of Leafy personally, and I can, s and I can see, obviously, unbiasedly, that you're not lying. I mean, that you're lying completely in this video. That no matter what you say... It's complete bullshit. So now months go by, you know, we keep in contact and whatnot. And whenever he's messaging me, he's always talking about iDubs and how he thinks he's going to make a contact cop on him. And he's... Well, of course he thinks iDubs is going to make a contact cop on him. iDubs did make a content cop on him. By the way, great pause. Scared for his fucking life that iDubs is going to make a contact cop on him. And what do you fucking know? iDubs makes a contact cop iDubs was cool for about 10 seconds, and then he made a bunch of shitty opinionated videos and a bunch of shitty videos, closed his P.O. box because he was scared, and stopped even making, stopped even putting in effort to make good content. He didn't even try to make good content. It was just him sitting in front of a camera being all like, yeah, iDubs, and I'm going to make some videos and shit about the opinions on the leafies and, and the other people. But then Leafy comes back responding to that video, proving that he was a complete hypocrite in many, many, many different ways. And you wouldn't even expect that from Leafy because Leafy's usually just insulting people. On him, completely fucking destroying this guy. So what's the He didn't destroy him anyway. First thing Leafy does, he sees the video, he runs on Skype, he calls me and asks. Why would he call you in general when there's so many, so much better people to make video to call? He could call Rice Gum because Rice Gum's scared to delete. Right, but I, I was gonna make a content call. He could call, he could call Pyro Cynical because Pyro Cynical's not necessarily scared. Pyro Cynical's just saying that he might make a puck on that comp on him. There's so many be so much better people to ask about this. There's no reason in hell to ask you me what he should do. And at this point, I'm I'm just sick of fucking Leafy and him using me. And he wants me to sit there for three. For what information about? Oh yeah. Um. Um. I want you to make an intro. That uh, you who make ten seconds on MS Paint, and I'll pay you for it, even though you don't fucking deserve it. Fucking 
hours when I need to go to bed and write the script out for the video because he can't. I stayed up for so far uh, uh around 15 minutes or 45 I can't tell which oh yeah I've been about for about 45 minutes making this video on you in fact I don't have much time to yeah, make it himself and he's like how would you do the video how would you do the video all I kept telling him was because I was so fucking sick of his shit just go in on him like murder him he fucking killed you dude like go a thousand times like the people want blood kill him well I, I can't really take that angle so you know just what the fuck are you talking about? I can't really take that angle. Leafy made a video blatantly insulting him. You are the one that saying video Leafy is a bad guy for making videos about other people and making bad videos on them. Like you said in the Keemstar rant, you told him just fucking do it. Stop telling you to do I don't I can't take that angle. So all I do is keep telling him, you know, just fucking murder him. Go in as hard as you can, which I know he can't. He makes the video, and what he does, as he usually does, he sits and tries to justify every point. He didn't... He justified every point he made. Every point he made was completely serious that Idubs was being a fucking idiot and making a video for no goddamn reason. Idubs just made a video about Leafy when Leafy wasn't even a target at the time. Leafy wasn't even, you know... That that bad of a guy. Like Leafy was everybody had stopped giving a fuck about Leafy. Leafy was just finally living a normal person life. He was finally able to let go of all the stress and just make YouTube videos for goddamn fun. And Idols just comes along and is like, fuck you or destroy every point that Idubs makes. Which makes the video so fucking stupid. And let me tell you So fucking stupid that it's smart as shit and destroys Idubs. That video is trash. This video's trash. See, I'm not even a fan of Leafy Man can admit and admit that Idubs Content Cop was out of nowhere and a completely bad decision. And this video right here is a completely bad decision. It just takes one 13-year-old with a YouTube name tw Gentleman Astroth and 21, 29 subscribers to say that it's complete bullshit and you never got used by Leafy. Just like all your other videos. Did I mention you're not funny? I mean, comedy is subjective. And subjectively, you're unfucking funny. So it you, you fucking idiot. Comedy is subjective, and subjectively you're on fucking funny. Then why does he have 4 million subscribers? Apparently to 4 million subscribers, he, he's funny. And to 158,000 people, you're funny. Or you know, you know, I know. I don't know. Um, so, I'm going to go unsubscribe from your channel. So whatever your exact number of subscribers is right now, it's going down one. Because I felt like it. I felt like making the 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 most crazy decision and and making like and puts the video out is complete shit. I know to makes a video fucking murdering him again when this was all going. Didn't do shit. I just didn't do shit. Shitty shit, dick. Now when Fousey wanted his address, when I just made the video, Fousey's a fucking idiot. He called me and he wanted me to fly out to where he was. I'm guessing he wanted me to fly out and pretty much just help him with the video because, again, his videos are fucking shit. So I- That's not how you make a video about exposition. Exposition is an art of not insulting somebody, but proving that they're a bad person insulting proving that they are an insult as a human being oh no i can't do that i'm way too busy i'm streaming and shit like that so no i can't do that because i'm not going all the way to seattle to sit with this kid so i can help him make a video and get nothing out of it so again except for the fact that you could do it in a skype call and there's no real reason on the planet to have flown out there. days or a week goes by he doesn't hit me up at all and if you can see there's a fucking pattern here he only hits you up we can see <laughs> god damn it I'm doing a fucking ass. I'm just let him talk while I check how long this video has gone when he fucking needs something cause his videos are unfunny he can't come up with ideas by himself he makes daily shit videos and he's just pretty much unoriginal as fuck so we're sitting there talking and I'm pretty much about to get to the breaking point of why I'm making this video it's it's really everything that just boiled up so we 
tells me, dude, you should make a video on H3H3. He's like, I wish I could be in your shoes, you know? With your amount of subscribers, you can make any video you want. And all you need to worry about right now is attention. So, dude, you should make a video on H3H3. That's what you're worrying about right now, making a video about attention on Leafy. H3H3. The reason he wants me to make a video on H3H3 is because Leafy fucking hates this guy. Just like he hates Final Fantasy. out of nowhere, H3H3 made a video on Leafy saying, oh, Leafy's a piece of shit. And H3H3 is pretty fucking unfunny. H3H3 was funny for a while. He had made some alright re reaction videos and shit. But after a while, he just gave up trying to be funny and he just started showing his chins over and over again. And burping. So cynical. He won't say it to their face because he's a fucking pussy. Or at least make a video, you know, calling him out because he's a fucking pussy. So again, I'm like blinded by this kid's sub and I don't know why the fuck I'm actually considering making an H3H3 H3 video. My whole stream knew I was going to make a video on H3H3 H3 and there was really no point of making this video. A couple days go by, I still haven't made the video, thank fucking god. And one of my friends, Will, an actual fucking friend, who's a YouTuber, you guys- <laughs> Herotic? You guys might know him, his name is Herotic. We're talking, we're going back and forth, and I'm like, yeah, Leafy told me I should make a video on H3H3. H3. He's like, really? He told me the exact same thing. So right now, Will is doing something, but I asked him, like, yo, you know, take your fucking phone out, and will you record a video on what Leafy said to you and how he said it? So I'm going to let Will speak for a minute. Right, I'm in my school toilets right now, but Nick, uh, I'm going to make this video for you. So basically, right, Leafy is here. I've been in contact with him for a bit. Like, I'm not as good friends with, with him as probably Grade and Nick Cash, but I've talked to him quite a lot, and he's... Seems to be a pretty nice guy, but so we were just talking, and he, and he sort of got me into an idea of making a video about H three H three. And at the time, somebody should make a video about H three H three because H three H three is being a fucking idiot right now. He made a video exposing random people for no goddamn reason. Did I just skip to the end? Popularity. So anyway, you guys, if you like this oh, video, make sure to totally finger that like. That. Totally didn't shoot down everything that cunt said in the video and prove that it was for no reason at all. I'll see you guys in forever after uh, he responds to this video, which he probably won't because he's too big of a pussy. He's probably shitting his pants right now. As I quote.